So this is the given geometry. So we have to find centroidal coordinates of this given geometry. First you have to identify the basic geometries. So here I am able to identify a rectangle, a semicircle, a complete circle and a right angle triangle. If I subtract a complete circle from these geometries, so then I will get shaded uh, that uh, shaded area. So I will represent it graphically now. The base of uh, this rectangle is 120, height of the rectangle is 80 and uh, the radius of this uh, semicircle is 60 and uh, this height is 80 and uh, base of this triangle is 120 and the uh, height of this triangle is 60 and uh, this distance is given as 60 this distance is given as 80 first let us find area and centroidal coordinates of first geometry so area A1 is equal to base into height, base is 120, height is 80, so then it is 9600, coming to x1 and y1. So it is nothing but the perpendicular distance from this point to this point, so for rectangle base by 2, so 120 divided by 2, it is 60. Similarly height, height divided by 2, 80 divided by 2, so that is 40. So this is y1. Similarly here, area is pi into radius is 60 squared divided by 2. We will get 5654.87 and x2 is nothing but the perpendicular distance this from this point to y axis which is equal to radius nothing but 60 and y2 is the perpendicular distance from this point to this point and we know that this is 4r by 3 pi. So from that y2 is equal to 80 plus 4 into radius is 60 divided by 3 pi. If you calculate it 105.46 and for this area A3 is half into base into height. We will get 3600 and x3 is perpendicular distance from this point to y axis which is nothing but base by 3 base is 120 divided by 3 so that is 40 and height is uh, y by 3 so that is 60 divided by 3 but it is below the axis so you will get negative value so minus 20 and if you observe so the centroidal coordinates of this figure are nothing but 60 comma 80 why because so the distances from the center to x y axis are directly given in the problem and area a3 is pi into radius is 40 given 40 square so that is 5026.55 and x4 is equal to 60 direct distance given in the figure itself y4 also given in the figure itself 80 so just substitute the values of a1, a2, a3, a4, uh, find the value of total area. So in order to have the total area, so I need to add uh, first three areas, from that I have to subtract the final area. So when I do that, I have got this value. So if I want to find x bar, x bar is nothing but a1, x1 plus a2, x2 plus a3 x3 minus a4 x4 divided by a so when i substitute the values of a1 x1 a2 x2 a3 x3 all those so then uh, i will get a value of x bar so you will get around 54.79 centimeters and similarly y bar is equal to a1 y1 plus a2 y2 plus a3 y3 minus a4 y4 divided by a 
so a1 is uh, 9600 y1 is 40 plus a2 is 5654.87 into y2 is 105.46 plus a3 is 3600 into y3 is minus 20 plus a4 is 5026.55 into y4 is 80 so here you have to subtract divided by so a i already got the value on 3828.32 so if you simplify this one you will get the value of y bar and that is around 36.60 so hope you like this video uh, for more videos do subscribe my to do subscribe to my channel thank you for watching